Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and Cal and I have done quite a few upgrades to our KTM 890 Adventure Bike and 790 Adventure Bike. One of those upgrades were the levers. The stock levers that come on these bikes are really long, and we don't necessarily love the feel of them. Now, you could fix part of that problem by just cutting the stock levers down, but you still have stock parts then, and what fun is that? So we went after market. We ordered these out of Germany from a company called Raximo. And these are their BCS levers. These are the shorty. They come in at only about 15 centimeters long. They're an anodized aluminum. One of my favorite things about them, besides how they feel and how well they work, are the number of color choices that you have for these levers. Now, if you see my shoes, then you know what I'm talking about. I went green and pink. You could go totally all black, but I'm not that type of person. So the levers are green, and the adjustment lever that's on them is pink. Now, talking about that adjustment lever. So these do have six different positions that you can actually set the lever for clearance from the grip. Now, something that I did see online from other people that had questions about these is on the clutch, when you go to pull it in, you can't pull it all the way to the bar itself or to the grip. Now, one, I always ride with just one or two fingers on the lever. So when I pull it in, it hits my fingers anyway. I don't need to pull it all the way to the grip. But you're right. If you had all your fingers on this and you pulled it in, you're not going to get it all the way to the grip because it actually hits the outside of the grip first. However, the clutch engages before that point. So I don't have, again, any issue with just pulling it in. It's gonna hit my fingers first anyways. It's not a problem for me. On the brake, that's non-existent because you hardly pull that one in and your brake is already engaged. Now, Cali does have aftermarket heated grips on hers from Oxford, and that heated grip has a little bit different of a collar here. And hers, she can get a little bit additional throw out of that lever, but again, it's not needed in our situation. The install is pretty straightforward. The clutch does take just a little bit longer than the brake. For me, I actually just release tension from the cable by removing the end off of the clutch actuator arm. And at that point, I was able to just remove a bolt, pull the old lever off and put this new lever on. With the brake side, literally just pull the bolt out, remove the old lever, slip this one on, button it all up, good to go. Then at that point, I just adjusted my clutch and everything was good to go. One thing to note on the clutch lever adjustment is that you do want, I think the manual calls for five millimeters of clutch play. A lot of people just say about the thickness of a nickel. It is important to make sure that you do have that little bit of play there so that you don't burn out your clutch. Since installing these levers, we've put over 5,000 miles on these bikes. We've taken them down to Central America and back, and these levers are still looking new. Callie wanted me to mention her colors, which are all pink, giving her bike just that extra little bit of girliness that she was going after. If you guys have any questions about these levers or anything for that fact, please just leave them in the comment section below. Also, we have reviewed all of these aftermarket parts on the bikes. If you head over to our website, adventurerig.com, just click on the motorcycles tab, you can see everything right there in one spot. If you guys liked the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. If you're wondering where we are or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.